Throughout this video, I will show you how to create additional option elements and apply them to your products. You can either click this button or click here to start adding a new one. Click the Create Option Set button, then click Add Element. You can see all of the available option elements from here. To begin with, let's choose the text element. Then you click on it to configure this option element. From here, you can change the default label to a desired title. I am going to add another option, let's try the checkbox element. You can add multiple values for this checkbox element by clicking on Add Another Option Values. So we have two new option elements called Name and Extra Values. Now the next step is attaching this new set of options to your products by clicking on this tag button. You can select a manual option if you want to display this option set for only certain products. If you have a large catalog of products that you want to use this option set, you can use the automate condition to pick out the list of products. For example, you can choose products by collections. The last option is applying this option set to all products. Let's choose this and see how it goes. Now we are going to move on to the next step. Display this option set on your website by going to the theme setup section. As you can see, the app embed is deactivated and you need to enable the app embed in the theme customized section. Now click save button to enable it. Lastly, let's see how it displays on your product detail page by clicking this view button, then choose a product. Here it is. Don't worry, we can change this weird background color in the app design settings later. Thank you for watching.